So I want to show you guys the Baron deck that I've been running with uh, that has got me in my top three slots right now. Uh, I'm, I'm about not quite 20k yet. I'm like 16 and a half K, but I have only just recently begun playing again. I started at like 12k and I've gained like 4,000 honor this week just by playing some of the meta decks right now. Now, obviously, I've got high level cards, which is definitely going to help when you're climbing the honor ranks at a certain level. But as you've seen with some people on YouTube, like Rumble with Legendary, you don't need levels necessarily. You just to be a really good player if you don't have levels. And unfortunately, I'm not the best player. I'm decent. I'm okay. But levels definitely help me. Uh, you know, I'm going to be quite open and candid about that. But this deck is really strong. And I want to kind of talk through the deck because it will give you an indication about how to play it first. And then we're going to go and look at some games that I played today using this deck versus some pretty even level opposition. So that will definitely help show you what this deck is like on even levels. So... Baron with Chill of the Grave. A lot of people since the Chill of the Grave nerf thought, well, let's try out some of the other Baron, uh, you know, uh, talents. Let's see how they work. Nothing is as good as Chill of the Grave. Skeleton Mages are still just too, too strong. But what I do like about the nerf is it's made some other leaders way more viable. And you see way more variants on the ladder right now. And that's one of the things that I will praise the Warcraft devs for. Um... That I think they've actually managed to balance the PvP ladder to an extent where, yes, there are some outliers that are really strong, but it's no longer just Baron, Safe Pilot, those kind of decks. It's it, There is quite a lot of variance and quite a lot of deck building capability in PvP right now. Little Ghoulie Boy, two mana, insane tank, getting Bone Shield makes him really strong uh, versus certain units like Griffin Rider, for instance. He's just really strong in that regard. He's got a base health at level 9 of like 11,000, which doubles versus physical damage units if he has the armored buff up. So becomes like a almost like an abomination uh, if he's going against physical damage. So he's just really strong for two mana. Defias Bandits. Now, I go for Deadly Poison. The reason I go for Deadly Poison is because even though I think Picklock is very good on certain maps, the reality is it's very unlikely that you're going to be able to unlock a chest with Defias Bandits. You, especially because it's now 15 seconds into the game. When they spawned instantaneously, Picklock was what much more useful because if you had these guys in your opening hand, there was a higher chance that you'd be able to go and take the chest. But now there's so many unbound units in play and 15 seconds into the game, like getting these guys on a chest is very rarely worth it. So these guys are just a good cycle card that have poison, which is nice when defending. I can play them out of slot and I don't feel too bad about it. So happy to just play these guys in this slot here. If you'd like to play something else, skeletons with exhume works fine, but it's just an extra gold. So kind of plays against what this deck's supposed to do. Poison on Quillbore, the reason we like Poison on Quillbore is it takes off the shields of the Murloc Tidehunters and also it reveals Stealth, which is good, especially if you're going into a safe pilot. Griffin Rider with Mighty Throw, just an unbelievably excellent card, great for two mana. Flying, so difficult to deal with with for a lot of units. Murloc Tidehunters, absolutely fantastic little dudes. Safety Bubble makes them really strong. And then we are running Deep Breath. Now, look, let's be real, not a large large percentage of you probably won't have beaten Anixia. So Deep Breath might not be available for most of you. If you are looking for a replacement for Deep Breath, I would personally either suggest Execute, so you roll this to a spell, or I would suggest something like Blizzard. Blizzard, you have to be a lot more like re like proactive in its use if you want to get the same use out of Deep Breath. Deep Breath allows you to be a little bit lazy, and to be honest with you, just, I think it's just better than Blizzard in most ways. Um, but Blizzard is definitely an option for a replacement if you are looking to get something that will clear um enemies the same way that deep breath would obviously deep breath allows you with double dragon to use deep breath and hit the base which is the most important thing uh but execute is also very good if you want to try and use that and this is the deck that i am running so what we're going to do is we're going to jump into some games the whole point of this deck is because heroes resolve is out it's about cycling baron Baron is a great individual leader. There are certain leaders in the game that are just good individual leaders. Tyrion is one of them. Hogger is one of them. Baron is one of them. They're four costs most of the time. Um, and they they just scale well with the levels that you give them. So Baron cycle deck is what this is all about. Let's jump into some games. Okay, let's jump into this. The, uh, okay. Okay, let's jump into this then. Right, so we're going to go into a game versus a Tyrion. So Tyrion Cycle, another deck that's quite popular in the meta right now. Wait, my wife my wife said I, has a, I have a receding hairline. So I'm just checking in because I haven't had a chance to look. Guys, do you think I've got a receding hairline? I don't think I've got a receding hairline. Right? 
Okay, you guys need to tell me the truth. I'm going to point my head at the camera, and you guys in the comments need to tell me if it looks like I'm balding. I don't, I don't think I'm balding, but I can't see. So you guys are going to have to tell me. I could just look at the video, but where's the fun in that? Right. So this is Alterac Valley. Now with Alterac Valley, the in my eyes, there is kind of one specific way to play this. We actually kind of ignore the side tower for the most part, um, especially with cycle decks. Not that, not that, in, not that interested in the side tower. What we're going to do is we're going to send every ranged unit we possibly have over the bridge. So that includes Murloc Tide Hunters and Griffin Rider. Don't send them all at once. Send one first, followed by the next one. So send Griffin Rider and then send Murloc Tide Hunters, or, or send Murloc Tide Hunters, Tide Hunters first if you have them because they're faster. You don't want them to all get safe piloted. That's the, that's the problem because what's going to happen is these guys are going to get clumped up underneath here. Um, anything you send here is going to get clumped up here initially. So safe pilot becomes really strong in this instance because everything kind of gets stuck on the bridge. Um, and then what we're going to send is going to send slower units down this way. So Defias Bandits, Ghoul, Baron, etc. Now remember, this chest spawns at 15 seconds into the game. So you don't want to send them straight away because Baron will just run past all the chests. You kind of want to wait, like, let's say 10 seconds before you spawn your Baron. Get your stuff up here, protect your got your Kobold as it goes for this, this mining camp over here, and then try and get control of the bridge. Then, because we, we have deep breath, what we're going to do is we're going to deep breath, basically, the bridge towards the base. If you have Blizzard, you just Blizzard this area. It's kind of the, the way that you play this. And then you just cycle your units over and over again. You just constantly... Ooh, bollocks fixed you constantly constantly send baron down here until you feel like you've got enough of a stranglehold that you start sending barons over here straight towards the base so let's just go through it okay so we're going to split our defias bandits which is fine it's kind of a very non-committal move and as you meant as i mentioned we're going to send our griffin rider over the top now i spawned my baron a little earlier here but i think it's because i've just seen him spawn murloc hide hunters so i kind of knew that i would be in a bit of a fight now he's gone hell for leather in terms of uh contesting me around the chest now the bit, first mistake that he made is that he safe piloted over here and he quillboard over here and did nothing about my griffin rider and skeleton mages on the top which basically meant these guys cleaned up everything for free and i have now been, been given essentially two free chests to come back from this point would be very difficult uh he's also running a level 10 a level 10 Dark Spear Troll in a Tyrion deck with it looks like Execute as well. So I'm guessing the point of his deck is that he cycles Tyrion out with Dark Spear Troll and they just become like an un unkilling, unkillable healing mess. Now, I have got such a stranglehold on the economy at this point that I am just going to constantly send stuff over. This is obviously a bit risky. The reason it's a little bit risky is because obviously if I clump up around Safe Pilot like I have just done here or I get caught by a big spell, I could waste an absolute load of gold. So try not to do this if you get the opportunity to. Um, don't just go and clump up everything and don't just think, oh, I'm, I'm winning at this point and sort of just go for it. But, you know, we, we've got the timings on the chests. Now, remember, chests spawn, I think, every 40 seconds or so. So uh, just re remember that once you've taken the chests for the first time, they'll come back and they'll respawn uh, and you need to be just kind of on that. Gonna re but as you can see, like I'm primarily just looking to spawn barons as much as possible. Like, I think I've spawned three barons in this game so far. Uh, and I'm actually going to straight up just use deep breath over the, uh, the safe pilot. That's actually an okay trade if you can land it on something else and on the base. Like I would spend four gold to chip away at the base damage and also kill safe pilot. I don't know if I would like straight up blizzard safe pilot. Um, that's one of the only disadvantages of... of, of Blizzard versus Deep Breath, or one of the one of the well, actually few disadvantages of Blizzard versus Deep Breath is that I can kind of make a gold negative trade with uh, Deep Breath, but obviously with with Blizzard, if you Blizzard a, a safe pilot by itself, it feels kind of bad. Pretty simple though. He he messed up the start. We just kind of capitalized and just spawned Barons over and over again. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so we are versus a Gromash. And again, I'm not going to retalk the tactics of Alterac Valley. I think that you guys kind of know it. You'll see me do the same thing here again. We're just going to send ranged over the top. We're waiting just a little bit until he spawns something. Um, and as you can see, we are trying to split up our units a little bit. Now, what we're going to see here is very likely he's used... Um, yeah, so he's trying to go for a safe pilot over the bridge. We're going to get an insanely... Like, I mean insanely good... Um, What's it called? We try, We just got basically got an insanely good uh, deep breath. Now he did. He did just use Quillbore 
to essentially place a free quill bore in that scenario. So he denied the gold from my chest and he got it for a free quill bore. Fine. I'm perfectly okay with that because that quill bore was then not used to deal with the stuff that was heading towards his base. Um, you know, and that's that's okay. So we're going to go, and what we're going to do here is we're going to use our quill bore to poison everything. And that actually very, very importantly uh, stops his... Um, uh, bubbles on his uh, Melot Tide Hunters. Now, we got a good deep breath off there, landed it on the safe pilot, which is, again, like, is a really good way to use the deep breath if you have it. It's like, if they're throwing a safe pilot down, especially into the middle of a kind of a hectic fight, then throwing the safe pilot down, uh, throwing the deep breath down in that scenario is just really, really nice. You'll see me do it again in just a moment. Um, here we go, like, another really, really good opportunity. Hits the base, and we land it on the safe pilot as soon as she lands. So she doesn't get anything done in that scenario. Just getting insanely good value with deep breath showing you why it, it, to be honest with you it's just one of the best spells in the game and why so many high level pvp players use it if you if you are close to beating anixia would definitely recommend that you just give it a shot for the uh the deep breath in itself now he deep breathed i actually think that was a very low value deep breath he primarily did it to stop me from mining gold which is okay like i'm, I'm okay with that um he actually just i don't really know why he did that there but as you as we've just seen he doesn't actually manage to stop the safe pilot or doesn't actually manage to get his um, uh, miner to actually do any mining. So I think he was doing a big setup there in the hopes that he was going like, to get his miner to mine. Didn't happen. Um, and now we're actually sending some more stuff at his base over on the left-hand side, chipping away at the damage. And he's not actually stopping our, our cobalt miner from mining. He tried, I think, to go for a play around the uh, chest here, which... I'm not really sure what the point of that play was. Like, I think it was to try and delay my ghoul and baron, but he they were already in chest range, so he was never going to get away with a free chest in that scenario. Uh, and once again, like, there's an opportunity to use deep breath here, which I'm just going to do. Don't quite stop her from attacking, but I still get the chip damage on the base. And now it doesn't matter because my Merlock Tide Hunters are going to finish the job, which you can see they do right there. Again, just cycle baron out, just good value units, good trades. This, this deck works really well on Alterac Valley. Um, let's try and see if we can get into a next game. So now we're going to play versus a Jaina. So interestingly, uh, this is, I can never, is this Hillsbread Foothills? This is not Hillsbread Foothills. I can never remember the name. This is Timber More Hold. There you go, Timber More Hold. In this one, again, we kind of want to stagger the spawning just a little bit. Um, we really want to make sure that we're just there grabbing the chest as soon as possible. Now, he's just randomly dropped harpies and then has blizzarded right there for a good value blizzard by the way but we're going to just instantly use deep breath um try and stop him from keeping Jaina out on the field i don't really know I, I, from what i can see from this deck right right now he's spawned harpies stone hoof tauren quill bore defias bandits which is five cards blizzard so blizzards so he's got one card maybe one extra spell there but he's got a very interesting um a very interesting deck I'm not really sure I love Stonehoof Tor, and it's four gold for what is a kind of meh unit. Like it used to be very strong in this in like these situations where um we had a lot of like Huntress in the meta, or we, you know, and it is pretty good versus things like Dark Spear Troll. But uh yeah, not actually like my favorite uh card because I just think it's so clunky and it's it's you know it's it's four mana when you could be spending that four mana on something way more useful. So we're going to go for, again, just taking his Jaina off the field. Like, I really don't like, I really hate leaving Jaina's up on the field, especially when you know that they've got spells in their their um, in their deck. So we are just kind of like stopping the Jaina from staying on the field for a long period of time here. Now we're going to go and try and take down this Cobalt Miner. We're going to do it a little quicker this time around. And again, we're going to stop those guys from actually stunning because we take them out of stealth. And we see another Jaina on the field here. So we're just going to go again and use my deep breath. Use it so it actually, you know, it angles onto the base again, which is the most important thing about deep breath. That's the whole reason we done run double dragon is because we can get like board clear. I say board clear because it sounds like half stain, but let's say we get like map clear and we also get uh, chip damage on the base, which is why, which is why the spell is just so unbelievably strong. But we're out cycling him in terms of units right now. We're up to a level 13 Baron. So we've got huge amounts of barons in play and i think at this point he's kind of given up because he's not playing anything like he plays a random quill ball but oh no no here we go plays a load of stuff but i'm just going to deep breath it straight away like deep breath there hit the base he blizzards but it doesn't really get him anywhere that's one of the things about spells in the um heroes resolve meta the problem with spells in the in the heroes resolve meta is they become less and less effective like for instance 
uh, execute becomes less and less effective the higher level the hero goes and that's very very difficult when you're dealing with things like hogger or dracosath because the higher level they go the less effective execute becomes and we get the win very nicely there with him on this uh this journey deck so there we go it's a, a quick a quick whistle tour on this particular uh, baron deck but it's pretty good fun and i hope you guys give it a go uh it's all about just cycling baron over and over again uh, making sure you use your ranged units and your flying units to get the high ground advantage and then just letting Baron scale up by cycling him through. Um, obviously, if you don't have deep breath, it, it's not maybe not as strong, but if you have uh, Execute or Blizzard, it probably should work fine as well. So give it a go. See how you feel.